York City puts up about 1% of the global warming gases in the country, and we've got to bring that number down. And if we do that, we can actually have a, a practical impact. We have a, such a condensed life here in New York that we have a high concentration of carcinogenic air coming from diesel trucks. So what we do with biodiesel is take the dirtiest trucks on the road and make them the cleanest. What I'm doing with my bill, it would be to mandate that by 2013, all fuel oil in New York City, all fuel oil, and we have over a million homes using fuel oil in New York City, not to mention the commercial uses, government uses, but all uses of, of fuel oil in New York City will contain 20% bio by 2013. And that's gonna make a tremendous clean air difference and also create the market that Tri-State and Metro and these other good people who are coming forward and putting their capital on the line, we want them to succeed because when they succeed, we get the clean air benefits. The city council is you know, really putting a lot of effort and, and really seeming to start to get some of these environmental issues. I never would have imagined you'd be building a biodiesel plant right here in Brooklyn. I mean, it's, it's absolutely amazing what you're doing. Well, here we are, you know, and this is just the first of many. What cities are you going to next? Oh, well, we got a project in Philadelphia, one in Connecticut now, and we expect to be in several other cities in the next two years. We go around the city and we collect the used cooking oil, what people fry the french fries in at all the restaurants, so 20,000 of them. We send our tanker trucks around and suck up that dirty oil and uh, take it to our process facility and turn it into clean burning renewable biodiesel fuel. Like how do you think New Yorkers view, you know, you guys as, you're like doing a, a really good thing for the planet. If you can make a community a better place and you start with one place, it multiplies. I just feel like a biodiesel man, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm just, right. I need my cape, you know, and I can just fly around with, with the meshes on my back and just tell everyone, come on, let's save this earth. You know, let's get with this program. So clear now that you Well, 9-11, I felt that impact. And um, and we don't be prepared now. We might just come right back around to it, you know? And this is why we're here. We're here to, to prevent that situation from happening. Mary, fill the glass to overflowing. After 9-11, people really got the sense that there is a security component to energy independence. And that's something that should happen. And New Yorkers being who they are, they want to have it happen here.
One of the things that drives me is very simple. It's my 11-year-old daughter. When I think about my daughter growing up in the world and what I've learned about some of the environmental problems and, and what kind of a world that could lead to, I think about that's the world I'm handing my kid. And do we want that to be a world where we say, OK, here's a gas mask and a machine gun. Have a nice life. If we're borrowing this earth from our children, we have to consider what, it, what we're leaving to our children. Mm -hmm.